Okay, welcome back. Uh, as a follow-up to my how to install GPS in a mini quad video, I mentioned the fact that you can log your GPS position into your Tyrannus. And I'll show you how to do that today, and I'll show you how to access those logs and, you know, what they might be useful for. All right, so first thing first, <clears throat> we got our Tyrannus fired up, and we're going to want to load up our model that has our GPS unit in it. And for me, it's this first one here. Uh, I got it labeled R9 Mini. Now, I know you can do multiple receivers on the same model, but for this one, I would be uh, I would have a specific model just for your GPS enabled quad and for each GPS enabled quad. If you do have more than one, and you'll see why in the end. All right. So, anyways, we have our model loaded up. We go into the menu, and we're going to press page until we reach the special functions page. And as you can see here, I already have a special function set up, uh, SH1 to reset my timer. Uh, <clears throat> it's just a, it's just a three minute timer I have. Uh, and I have, well, I have different times for each model, but th that doesn't matter. You can see as I activate the switch, you see the SH there goes in bold whenever it's activated. So, I'm going to go down to special function 2 and press enter. And for this, you want to select a switch that you want to use to start your logging. And for me, since I'm fairly forgetful, I want it to be my arm switch. Anytime I arm the quad, boom, it starts logging each and every time. I don't even have to think about it. So really easy. Go ahead and just flick your, uh, sorry, press enter on that so it's flashing and go ahead and flick your arm switch to the position where it'll be active. So for me, it's S, F in the down position. Press enter. And we're going to press the minus key to get over to the, the function that we're trying to activate. And press enter so it's flashing and Scroll till you find Sorry, right here. SD logs. <clears throat> Press enter. And go to the next spot here. Press enter. And this will set up your interval. So how often it will take a snapshot of all of your telemetry data. So if you want to have a very, very accurate log of say, you're trying to log your speed or your GPS position for whatever reason, like say you lose a quad, here it'll log every two tenths of a second. Uh, that seems like a lot. So I'm gonna do every two seconds. And then go ahead and hit exit. And to just verify that you have your switch set in the right position, go ahead and flip your switch to the spot where you want it to be active. For me, now my quad would be armed and the SF becomes bold and arm off. And there you go. Now to do this, you need to have an SD card inside your receiver. This should work exactly the same for the Tyrannus, the, the X9D, the QX7, but you do need to have an SD card because that's where it'll save the logs to. That's it. It's very simple. You do need to have telemetry working properly on your on your model. And if you go to your telemetry page, uh, I don't have a quad plugged in right now, but if you did, all these sensors here are the ones that it would log for. Um, so that's it. That's that's how you that's how you set up logging into the Tyrannus. Now we'll go over to the computer and I'll show you how to use those logs. Okay, we're here at the PC. We have uh, OpenTX Companion loaded up. I have my Tyrannus turned on and I'm going to connect my USB cable. Uh, you can either do it this way or you can pull your SD card out of your Tyrannus and uh, load it in your computer that way. But I'm going to do it through the Tyrannus. I have the Tyrannus turned on and I'm going to select USB storage. And it should mount the storage device. We don't need this. And if you look inside of our SD card, we have a folder called logs. And here are all the logs 
that have been captured under this model. And here's another one under that model. So that's why I'm saying it's a really good idea to have each GPS enabled quad or each quad that you want to track specifically to have their own model. That way you're not like, I don't know exactly which quad I flew under this one, but if it was my GPS enabled one, I'd, you know, I'd name it something different. But anyways, we'll close that. That'll open up an Excel sheet uh, with all your values, but through Open TX Companion, click on File, go to View Log File, open a log file and navigate to the log file you want to view, click open and it'll load up our log file. Here are all the available fields. Not all of these will be populated. Uh, if the telemetry doesn't agree with these, then they're not going to have any, <clears throat> any valid data. They may have data, but it may be erroneous. So uh, like, let's say you want to check your altitude in meters. Here is a graph of your altitude based on your timestamp. Uh, I don't know exactly how accurate this is. I believe this would have to be, this is based off of also the time that's logged inside your trance. So if your clock's wrong, this will probably be wrong as well. And you know, you got current, heading, um, your RSSI. And here we have GPS. Uh, this graph is pretty useless, but where it is useful is down here, if you look in this table, we have a column for GPS. And you can see there's a lot of blank values and that's while my quad was still acquiring GPS saddle uh, position. And now you can see we actually have a position. And it'll just keep logging. And I believe I had this one set up every two tenths of a second. So every two tenths of a second, it would log my GPS position. So say I had a fail safe, lost a quad, I could look through this and say, hey, here was the last position I had logged on this quad before it went down. It's really useful for retrieval or if you just want to, I'm sure you could export this to like a Google Maps so you can, you could have a, uh, a graphical representation of where you flew. Uh, I know you can't see this um, thanks to one astute uh, subscriber uh, pointed out that it does show my current GPS position and people might come and bug me and rape my dogs and whatever. So thanks for ruining my innocence. Really appreciate that. But thanks for the heads up either way. So this will be all blurred out. And that's it. That's how you log to your Tyrannus. And there's a lot of really useful data here if you're a data junkie. And uh, especially if you're having like random fail safes, you can kind of get a little bit more information about say your RSSI of when you did have a fail safe. All right, that's it. Uh, I hope you enjoyed that. I hope it helps you out in the future. I hope, I hope this, uh, well, I hope nobody crashes, but if you do, I hope this helps you retrieve your, uh, your downed craft. Um, nobody likes to lose their investment, uh, especially if you got a GoPro on it. Those things are like gold. Anyways, if you like what I'm doing here, please like, subscribe, click that bell so you get notified of my, of any of my uploads. Um, tell your friends, I'm trying to grow this channel. Uh, I want to bring useful, helpful content in a very straightforward manner. If you have any questions, please put them down in the comment box below. I, I look at them all and I try to answer as many as I can. Anyways, thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time.